Hey everybody, Tim Ford here. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a video using a panoramic image and how to, how to pan across the image and uh, export it out to YouTube. So the first thing you want to do is create a new image, a new document that is actually video size. So if you go up to File, choose New, and go down to your Film and Video presets, we can choose a nice HD format, 1280 by 720, and that gives us a blank canvas. Now the next thing you want to do is actually grab your panoramic image, and we're going to copy and paste this into our, uh, our new document. So we'll go ahead, let's select all, Control A, we'll copy that, go to our new document, paste it in. So it creates a new layer. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to actually res resize this image so that it actually um, covers the entire um, the entire canvas. So we'll just do Control T to transform, Control Zero to show the entire image, and we'll just rescale this so it fits. All right, and we'll go ahead and move this over to the right, right about there. Okay. So now it's actually HD size. The only problem is that it's obviously too big. So we have to uh, create an animation that pans across this image. So if we go up to the uh, window menu, choose your timeline, that opens up the timeline panel. And the first thing you see down here is a button that says Create Video Timeline. Pretty simple. So hit that, and you have a new timeline. Now by default, this timeline is five seconds long. So if you want this thing to be a little bit longer, we can actually take this edge here, drag it out, and let's take it up to about 10 seconds. All right. There we go. Now, the next thing you want to do is actually start creating your keyframes. And the way you do this is this little arrow here. Open that up. And you're going to see right down here these are keyframes. These are similar to the keyframes in After Effects, if you're familiar with that. If you're not, it's fine. But the, uh, the process is essentially the same as After Effects. You create a new keyframe to start off with. You have that there. Now go to the end of your, uh, your timeline here. Create another keyframe. Now on this keyframe, this is actually where we're going to move the image to the left. So we're actually panning across. So it'll start off the beginning. It's going to start off where it is now, and at the end, you'll end up all the way on the other side. So uh, hold the shift key down to maintain the um, position, and start scrolling to the right, or to the left, sorry, until you get to the end. Okay. Now, if we play this, you're going to see, hit the play button to play it, you'll see it's actually painting across the image. And of course, you could change the time if you, if you want this to be longer, if 10 seconds isn't enough. All you have to do is drag that out. So we could actually go over here, drag this out, say 12 seconds. And then you could actually move your keyframe. Hit your keyframe, drag it. There you go. OK, so that's all there is to panning across an image pretty simple. Now if you wanted to add another image to this, for example, maybe you want to fade to another image after this one. Let's take this one. So let's go ahead and we'll select this image. We'll copy it. Go back to our animation. So we'll come over here and we'll paste that in. Makes a new layer. Let's go ahead and uh, let's scale this one as well so it, so it fits the actual uh, canvas size. So we'll just go do a transform scale, and we'll grab this guy. Okay. Close enough. 
All right, so that's scaled. So uh, the same process here, you're going to add some keyframes. So twirl this down. Let's go to the beginning. Add a position at the beginning. Add a position at the end. And on this keyframe, go ahead and move this image to the left. And toward to the very end here. Okay. So you have your animation. Now the problem here is, of course, this animation is on top of the other animation, so you can't see both of them. So we're going to put this one after the first one. So you can actually just click on this, drag it over here, and drop it in just like that. So now you've got both animations side by side. And if you want to add a little transition, like a, a dissolve, this button right here is your dissolve. So hit that. There's various transition effects. We can just do a crossfade, click on it, drag it on there, and boom, you've got a little fade effect that happens. Let's play it. Let's go to the end here so we can see it. And there you go. Looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, export this out for YouTube. What you've got to do now is this button right here is your render video button. Hit that. Okay, a dialog will pop up. And there's actually presets in here. You have your H.264, which is good. Go to your presets. There's actually a preset for YouTube. So we can do a preset for uh, HD 720p. Choose that. Everything else is fine. And uh, we'll call this, uh, let's call it test. That's fine. Render it out. OK. So let's go check out that video real quick. But that's about it. So if you guys have any questions or comments, um, leave them in the uh, commentary below. If you're on YouTube or if you're on my site, leave me a comment. Let me know. And uh, hope this helped. See you guys soon.